We just completed the storage manager installation. Now we are ready to move on to the security engine node. Again, please make sure you have your EDR software in bypass mode and that you have local admin rights on the server, as well as you're not doing any home drive redirection with that account. So let's go ahead and log on to our security engine node. The first thing you should do is verify that you have um, the required drive space um, according to the sizing guide to complete the installation of storage engine code. Once that's confirmed, it's probably a good idea for you to um, create a quick um, environmental guide because we'll be using this um, throughout the installation. And in this environment guide, you're going to want the IP address of your storage manager server, the security engine node IP, as well as the director, directory listener IP address. These will be used throughout the uh, installation, um, and having them on hand will make it much easier for you. So now that we've confirmed that, let's go ahead and restart the server, just like we did with um, our previous server which was the storage manager. Again, we performed that check. So let's go ahead and restart the security engine node. All right, let's go ahead and log back in. And let's go to where we downloaded our software. Once again, we're going to right click and run as administrator. All right, once again, we're going to select English and click next. We're going to go ahead and click next. And this time we're going to deselect storage manager and directory listener. Once we do that, we can click next. So here's where we would want our environment doc. So let's go ahead and open up that doc so we have that readily available for us. And the first information that we need is the IP address of the storage manager. So let's go ahead and just copy that, make it easier for us. Now we're going to input that for the host for MS SQL. So let's go ahead and put in the um, IP address of the storage manager, as well as for the event log storage host. 
Here we're going to go ahead and type in the password that we uh, saved from the storage manager SA account. So again, this is the password that you created during the installation of storage manager for the SA account. All right. Once we do that, we can go ahead and hit next. And here for the DNS name or IP address for captain, this is going to be the security engine node IP address, host name, or you may have even created um, a DNS entry for it. For the installation here, I'm just going to use the um, IP address for my security engine node. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and then go ahead and select next. And then for the SETI host, we're going to actually copy in the IP address for the directory listener server. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And again, that's why this uh, environment variable um, full document is going to be very useful for you if you have this information. So let's go ahead and select next. And then we can go ahead and click install. This is going to take some time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the uh, video for now, and then we'll rejoin after the installation completes. Welcome back. We completed the installation of the security engine node. Now let's reboot the server and confirm the services. All right, now let's log back onto the server and review the services. All right, we want to review all the ALSID underscore services are running. So we're going to start with ALSID underscore attack path one and review all the way down to the ALSID underscore captain service to make sure all those are running. Again, all of those services are running. And then the last service that we want to look for is RabbitMQ. So we are going to confirm that RabbitMQ is indeed running. And that concludes our installation of Security Engine Node. Stay tuned for part three, where we actually will install the directory listener.